How's it going guys? Football Manager Youth Development Doc Hoodie UK here. Welcome back to our Swansea series where we are using the Moneyball approach to try and make as much money as possible. Thank you so far to everybody who has pressed the like button. I would really really appreciate it or if we could try and get this video to 50 likes that would be absolutely amazing. In this episode we are going to be playing a game against Norwich and that's going to be an away game. We'll just have a quick catch up on some of the fixtures that we have been playing recently. So in the last episode we played against Newcastle and we unfortunately drew that one 2 all. If you remember rightly we gave away a really really sloppy goal um, for their first goal and unfortunately Newcastle then managed to get the equaliser in the 87th minute. To be honest we definitely should have won that game. Since that game we've played another four games, so I've played Aston Villa where we unfortunately lost that 1-2-1. One, one. I'll just show you the match stats for this game really, really quickly because we absolutely dominated um, Aston Villa pretty much for the whole game. So we had 24 shots, we had 10 on target, we had four clear-cut chances, uh, pretty much 60% of the possession as well. Um, we played, well, not much better, We but we did actually play much better than... Um, yeah, Aston Villa. Um, really, really unfortunate to be honest. Yeah, just pretty much just couldn't put the ball in the back of the net, unfortunately. Um, Edda got the goal and um, yeah, Angel Ran Rangel uh, managed to get the assist. But in general, we didn't particularly play too um, sort of well, to be honest. Unfortunately, Montero, 6.2 average rate and he was the sort of best of the bunch. Uh, sorry, worst of the bunch. But yeah, we um, yeah just unfortunately couldn't get the result in this game. We then played Everton in the Capital One Cup, uh, fourth round, and unfortunately lost that 1-1-0. And we got absolutely smashed against Arsenal 4-1. We just pretty much just didn't turn up at all against Arsenal, which was really, really unfortunate. The Chelsea game, we won this 1-2-0, and we had seven shots on target. Uh, sorry, seven shots, and three of them were on target. Chelsea didn't actually have any clear-cut chances and you know they they weren't even that good to be honest 6.79 was their average rating and ours was 7.39 so we definitely played much better than Chelsea. We'll take a look at some of the goals that we scored in this game or both the goals that we scored in this game so a free kick from our left back who we've been playing quite often in a few games recently swings the ball in Nice floated cross and Ashley Williams is there at the back post to stick in. He was pretty much completely unmarked to be honest. So yeah, he managed to lose his marker and yeah, smashed the ball right into the back of the net. So that was our first goal. The second goal that we scored came from Fabianski picking up the ball and chucking it out to our fullback um, Rangel who put the ball forward to Leon Britton in the middle. We were kind of passing the ball around pretty nicely, to be honest, and yeah, got the ball out wide to Montero, who makes a nice run forward onto Routledge, again onto Montero, who puts the ball forward to Britain, and Gomez is in the middle for pretty much a simple tap-in. So that was 2-0, and that was Gomez's fifth goal of the season. So considering I haven't exactly been playing him in too many games, he did actually do really well in that game, and Hopefully he can continue on his goal scoring form in today's match against Norwich. Okay, so the teams all picked for the Norwich game. There's a couple of pleasing things considering we're sort of playing this file as a money ball um, sort of gameplay series. So yeah, Rangel, who is 33, is wanted by Norwich. Um, if I do get an offer for him in the January transfer window, he'll definitely be off. And Gomez, who is 30 years old, is wanted by Everton. Again, if we do get an offer for him, he's worth 10 point, well, near enough 11 million pounds and he's 30 years old. Um, at the moment in the bank balance, we have a transfer budget of near enough 30 million pounds. So what I'll be looking to do, considering this is a money ball um, yeah, gameplay series, we'll be looking to move players on who are 30 and we'll be investing in slightly younger players who we can hopefully look to develop. One of the better success stories of, um, yeah, kind of in recent weeks is the emergence of Jensen. He's now played seven games for us and he's got an average rating of 7.11. If you remember, we managed to sign this guy for £71,000 from um, Odd, who were playing in Norway, and now he's worth 700 k And considering that he's playing in the Premier League, he is improving his attributes quite rapidly at the moment. So really, really pleased with the emergence of this guy into the first team. In terms of the starting lineup, uh, Wayne Routledge has come back from his injury. We're bringing in Leon Britton into the midfield, 
and that's pretty much it to be honest it's been quite a sort of steady start in 11 for the last few games and yeah hopefully we can get another win under our belt today okay so we just got to half time and there was actually no highlights unfortunately to show you during that whole first half there was no clear-cut chances we had seven shots and only one of them was actually on target so yeah pretty much nothing really happened in the in the first half hopefully we, if i can kind of encourage the players a little bit um okay so let's go for this and just see how the players react to that and what i'm also going to do is just tell them that i've got faith in them and hopefully that will sort of give them a little bit of a boost the players um, you can certainly see that it's working on most of the players and yeah let's crack on with the second half and hopefully there'll be a few more highlights to show so a chance here potentially for Norwich the ball comes out to Malumbo and yeah Elliot Bennett has put that in at the back post unfortunately so pretty sloppy marking unfortunately it looks like Olsen had way too much space on the right hand side there and he manages to get a free cross and Elliot Bennett is there at the back post to tap that in to make it 1-0 to Norwich so although we've had quite a lot of the possession we've not particularly been putting our shots on target We've got a throw in here to Olsen. Malumbu picks up the ball and it comes out to Jarvis. Um, we need to really be pressuring Norwich here just to try and win the ball back as quickly as possible. On to Durans and he probably should have scored that but it went out for a corner in the end. So Bennett here with the corner. Um, Bassong committed the foul and hopefully we can carve out a couple more chances. So we pick it up in the middle of the park here with Montero trying to take on their fullback. Uh, we pick the ball up loose in the middle and yeah that's the end of the game here guys so we lose this one 1-0 one against Norwich so uh, to be honest I'm really really disappointed in this result the, we played really well against Chelsea in the last game I'm going to tell the players I'm not happy with them we in terms of average ratings we did actually play pretty well but overall really really poor performance from the players okay so yeah I was a little bit disappointed with the performance in the game against Norwich so I've decided to just record the next game as well which is against Leicester at the moment in the Premier League table Leicester are actually bottom of the table and they've only actually picked up one win all season and they've got seven points so you can see here that we've got 14 points we could do with um, definitely starting to get in some wins because yes it's not particularly been going too well we seem to have picked up results against teams where we probably aren't expected to pick up results maybe against like Manchester United and Chelsea but then there have been some games like against Aston Villa Norwich um yeah potentially like Crystal Palace these type of games where we where we should have been picking up results and we really you know we just haven't been able to do it so yeah we really really do need to start beating the teams that are in and around us in the table for today's game I've made a couple of changes so I've decided to bring Neil Taylor back into the team at the moment um, our um, Ivorian right back who we signed for 1.6 million I've decided to bring him into the team as well so I'm hoping he should be able to perform pretty well for us he's been doing quite well in the reserves so um, because his form's doing all right at the moment I decided to just bring him into the team and yeah hopefully he can perform pretty well for the first team in terms of everything else there's not really too many changes to make um, I have decided to bring Edda back up front instead of Gomez I know Gomez has been playing pretty well recently but um, yeah just had a good feeling feeling about bringing Edda into today's match against Leicester so we're pretty much ready to kick this game off I've decided to go for an attacking mentality in this game it just you know hopefully we can start the game really really quick um, obviously given all my team talks as well and the players are looking pretty happy there's a couple of players like Ashley Williams who, you know, from my team talk, he switched off. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with the form of Ashley Williams so far this season. So yeah, let's get this game underway and fingers crossed we can actually pick up some points in this game. Okay, so goal kick here to Swansea. Ball comes into the middle with Routledge, goes on to Edda, on to, um, what's his name, Taboo. And yeah, we are 1-0 up here, guys. So yeah. Fantastic play to be honest. Um, so Edda picks up the ball in the middle and Tabu um, manages to run onto the ball and yeah, manages to put that into the top corner. Pretty happy with that goal. Pretty nice team goal as well. So we've had 52% of the possession so far. Um, yeah, five shots, two on target. Leicester haven't actually recorded a shot on target, unfortunately, yet. So the ball is going to break here with Jamie Vardy, who plays a really quick ball into the middle. 
our defender does really well to pick that up in the middle of the park. All Brighton with the corner. And that's gone out for a Leicester throw. I think I'm going to need to make a real quick substitution to our striker. Um, it looks like he's got a back strain. I'm not too sure if I do need to take him off. I'll leave it till half time and just see what our um, yeah, see what they say at half time. So yeah, one nil up here. I'm not too. I think the players have done pretty well, but um, yeah. So obviously, I'm going to just try and sort of yeah, in in uh, sort of motivate them as much as possible. I'm going to go back down to standard mentality. And yeah, we'll kick off this second half here. So although we've had quite a new number of chances, um, yeah, we've only actually had one clear-cut chance. And obviously Leicester have had that one clear-cut cut chance as well. Um, but yeah, they haven't actually registered one single shot on target just yet. Okay, so goal kick here. We're bringing the ball forward um, quite nicely, keeping possession. Goes out to the right wing and Leicester pick the ball up in the middle. The ball's going to go over the top in the middle to Jamie Vardy. And of course, Jamie Vardy puts that away. So considering Leicester are actually bottom of the league, um, yeah, Jamie Vardy scored seven goals this season. So he's doing pretty well considering the position that Leicester are in. We just let uh, Vardy slip in the middle. And of course, he's definitely not going to miss from that position. So yeah, Leicester have pulled it back to one all. Um, I'm going to go attacking in a bid to just try and, you know, get a few more shots in on goal here. So let's see how we get on. I'm just also going to make some additional um, changes. So, yeah, I'm going to get the players to work the ball into the box. We've got about sort of 20 minutes to go in this game now and just trying to make a substitution, I think. So we'll bring on Gomez in replace of Edda. I think that's pretty much all we can do. So A's really been on bad form for the whole of this season. And um, there's not really anybody that I want to take off in replace of him. Um, actually, I'm probably going to take off Routledge. He's looking pretty knackered at the moment. Hopefully AU can sort of spark a little bit of magic in the in the middle. He's really not been playing too well, but let's just see how he gets on. So let's confirm that and click play. So yeah, it's been quite an even game this one. Um, obviously, unfortunately, that was Leicester's first shot that they had on target. Uh, corner to Leicester here and again they've got another goal here um, Leicester so yeah Jamie Vardy gets his second goal of the game um, corner from Albrighton puts the ball across and Jamie Vardy's there completely unmarked and he puts it into the back of the net to make it 2-1 to Leicester so yeah we're really really in trouble at the moment we do need to certainly start putting you know putting some performances together we're not playing well at all recently so i think that's pretty much going to be the end of the whole game um just coming up into the final minutes here so the ball comes forward to uh all drop and he loses possession in the middle of the park to um can say on tomorrow's drink water williams picks up the loose ball onto britain au tries to thread a brew uh, ball through but it doesn't come through and yeah Leicester have beaten Swansea here 2-1 so I'm really really not happy at all with the way the team's playing at the moment we are certainly not playing too bad in terms of average ratings but in terms of everything else we're just not putting the ball into the back of the net so I'm going to be having a look at the analysis pretty soon after this game and just sort of see what changes we can make but yeah we really do need to start performing much much better so I'm going to call this the end of the episode. Obviously, it's not really been too much of a good one for us. We ha we're, well, we're in 15th position at the moment after playing 14 games. So we've got 14 points on the board so far. Um, yeah, I really, really do hope that the next episode that I manage to play that we will have a few more points on the board. And um, We are unfortunately getting pretty close to the relegation zone now. So yeah, it's really, really not been too good. But yeah, that's what I'll be looking to do. Just try and get some points on the board. And yeah, thanks for watching this episode, guys. Um, see you in the next episode where hopefully we'll be a little bit higher up the table. Thanks for watching.